So, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I continue with the repair of the Amiga 500 Plus mainboard. This is part two of the series. So, if you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend this. And the link is in the description and in the info card in the upper corner. So, in part two, I try to fix the last issues with this board and so we get a functional board. So enough talked, let's get started. So I checked a little bit around, I measured every pin on the Gary socket and so I found two issues. The wire that is soldered from here to here, from R132 to this via, that was a mistake from me. This uh, from R101 to this via, and so I make a new botch wire, and this trace was also bad. This is from this pin of the resistor. I zoom a little bit in. No, from this pin of the resistor to this pin here and then to this pin here and from here to here we had no connection and so uh, this does not work. So after I make this repair I put uh, the Amiga on the TV and make a test and now I show what this computer does. So it's all connected. Now we switch this on and I show you what I found. So the Amiga 500 Plus does not work, but we have the first signs of life. We have a green screen. So it's a little bit of progress. Now we have to test again. So I tried something uh, on the RAM chips. I measured the, the traces from the RAM chips and then I found nothing. I swapped the two CA chips. There is nothing. Still not working. And then I flipped the board and check the underside. And then I found here something what I don't expect. So let's see here. And this here is the lag from a capacitor. And this wire goes over this pin and the pin poked into the wire and make a short. So I press the wire away from this pin and now let's see what this thing does. All is hooked up here on the TV, monitor and power and so switch this on and then we will see. Oh, we get a boot up screen and yes, we have a working machine with kickstart 2.0. So the next thing we have to do with the board is also the last one is uh, change the capacitors 
And then we are finished with this board. So the last thing on this board we have to do is to change the capacitors. So let's grab the soldering iron and the box with capacitors and let's start it. So a little bit of cleaning and then we test the board again if it's still working and then we are done. So if you see I have all connected to the TV and I also connected the GoTech with the Amiga and so let's try if this Thing still works. And it's almost working. You see the picture is very good. And so now we test if this loads. You see the GoTech is active on this USB stick. I have Workbench 2.1. So we have also here Kickstart 2.0 in. The GoTech is loading. And I have this not upgraded yet. It's the old GoTech with the three digits and without the wheel. But that's not necessary now. And you see, workbench loads.
yeah, work bridge loading. And so we're done. So this is for this episode. The Amiga is now functional. In part three, I give the floppy drive a little bit of service and a good clean. And also we clean the case and put all together. And then we should have a fully functional Amiga 500 plus. So if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you want more of uh, my videos and support my channel, subscribe to my channel. And so I'll see you in the next one.